So this is the Hirshhorn Museum. It's a sculpture museum and what you probably notice about it is that it's shaped like a cylinder with an open base over here. Very interesting. Let's go inside. So it's not just a cylinder. It is a toroid. It's a donut with an open sky. And I suppose this fountain is pretty interesting too when it's running in the summer. Here's an interesting sculpture and at first you think, well, these chains, they're here to prevent someone from stealing it. But actually, it may be part of the uh, artist's idea. Okay, so the third floor is who? John Gerard. John Gerard. Must see that. If I ran through the museum, I could see it all in five minutes. But honestly, to do it justice, I'd have to give it two hours, which I might. The ground uh, underneath in the basement, there's a video, a movie, that shows an eight-minute long film about gluttony. And I've come to learn the cafeteria is closed because of that. And on the second floor is the one with the geometric patterns. Don't miss that. So let's go see what the museum is like. So I've had some help. Um, there's a biography of Jules Hirschhorn and stories about the museum architecturally, which I'll be plugging later, along with hirschhorn.si.edu from their website. Did you know that Mr. Hirschhorn was born in Latvia and that the original collection here was his own private collection? Did not know that. This is the entrance to Phoebe Greenberg's eight minute film. I, this is the movie theater. It's very dark. So the thing about a film is it's not sculpture. This is a painting. It's not sculpture either. This is a sculpture museum. I am on a mission to find the sculpture. Again, these are clearly not sculpture, they're paintings. However, this is a room of sculpture. Do you see them? They are the lines, floor to ceiling, in different colors. Okay, I found a sculpture. But very interesting in that it's uh, a very dark room and you wait for your eyes to adjust and eventually you do see it. I particularly like this piece. Paint it into a corner and then there you are. An exit. But it's for emergency only. What does the artist have in mind with this? I'm not sure. Here's the artist, Fred Sandback. So Franz Stella did some work with some great colors, but these are, as I see it, painting. Are you dizzy yet? And there's an Andy Warhol print. Very cool. This is Directions by John Girard. The secret to this exhibit is patience. I just don't know if I have enough. This is the John Girard exhibit. I won't show all of it, but it's a projection. And this is a very cool room because as you see behind me, there's a, um, a sofa and a view of the mall. Very cool. This is the view from the Abraham Lerner Gallery, named after the first curator of the Hirshhorn Collection. You know, I don't know much about art, but I do know that the Hirshhorn is doing a good job of challenging the perceptions of art. Ah. I know this. These are Alexander Calder mobiles. Well, I'm tall enough to see them, but the gallery is blocked, temporarily closed. This says it well. Four colors, four words. This is great. Sayings for our lives. I particularly like this one. I don't lie, cheat, or steal unnecessarily. Lots of wisdom here. Can you see me? So 
So this is called Play Dead Real Time, and the guard thinks it's a real elephant. I'm not sure. It might be a computer-generated elephant. We'll watch some more and see what we think. I just don't know. That's the interesting thing about the Hirshhorn. It makes you think. Yep. The hallways have the sculptures, and the galleries have the paintings. They paint, yeah, but usually they have they have sculpture here too. Look at this. The bed, but most of the paint is in here, right, and most you. of the sculpture are out here. Thanks. This is the second floor, and so what I've learned is this, the Hirshhorn is not just sculpture, which is what I thought. That's why you have to go see these things, and you know. So these are prints and fabrics and all kinds of things. And Josef Albers, a great collection in here of his interesting works and some history. So if it's a lovely summer day, I'd recommend you come to the Hirshhorn and take advantage of this wonderful free museum of art in Washington, D.C. So that's my advice. If you have some time, even if you don't, you should make some time. Come to the Hirshhorn. Learn something about art. Thanks for watching, YouTubers. And there are sculptures outside of the museum in, arranged in, uh, I don't know what you call this, circular galleries. And of course, this is the famous architectural building of the Hirshhorn. When you come here to the Hirshhorn, behind me you'll see the building, don't forget to go across the street to the sunken sculpture garden. So this is the outdoor sculpture garden of the Hirshhorn Museum. It's across the street from the building, which is right over there. Be sure to find the Luna Bird. If you found that, then you found the, se the secret side garden to the sculpture plaza. There's only really one good way to learn about art. Well, that's probably not true. But one good way is to just force yourself to go. Go see art. This is the Seven Burgers of Calais. The burgers are the people who run the city, like city councilmen. Baby in the box. Uh, and the question is, art. is it art? I think so. This is an Alexander Calder, and you can recognize his style. Sheets, steel, bolted together. This is called Skyhooks. And that's it. Thanks for watching, YouTubers. Now back to the car.